Welcome to COVID-19 report number two. In my previous report, several of you mentioned the conspiracy theory that wearing a mask traps CO2 gases around your mouth, causing you to breathe back in the CO2, which, because we all know plants breathe in CO2, therefore wearing a mask will turn you into a plant. I can attest to the truth of this theory because I could tell by your comments that many of you are vegetables already. So maybe in the comments section you can tell us if you did turn into a plant, what kind of plant would it be? I suspect I would turn into a rutabaga. One, because I'm rude. And two, because this quarantine is making me bigger. I think everyone can see that China has taken America's disorganization and confusion due to the pandemic and the usual insanity of the impending blood sport that is the November elections to run the global snooker table while you Americans have lost your cue stick. Please, America, we need you back in top form to push back on this scourge. While Canada doesn't have much in the way of military support, we are ready to supply the Q-Chalk. Warning, while you are stuck indoors, do not watch Netflix's Warrior Nun. I love garbage movies. I love anime mech. I love old Roger Corman movies, many of which were wonderfully terrible. Warrior Nun is like The Seven Samurai meets Da Vinci Code. It feels like one of those horrible tax dodge movies that were made in Canada in the 70s. Like some rich kid wrote a, a movie script and got his dad to finance it. Even its Euro trashy Vatican vibe couldn't save it. I was also disappointed that the lead was way too Sally Fields Flying Nun and not enough Xena Warrior Princess. The final episode was so bad with characters changing allegiances for no apparent reason, and a boss fight with a thousand-year-old angel. Hmm, That's, that sounds good when I say it. But trust me, it was bad. Stay away from Warrior Nun. I'll leave you with this final observation. Ten years ago, you needed a boardroom if you wanted to be a legit business. Five years ago, you needed a fancy car to visit your clients. Now you're in your kitchen, in your underwear, while Zooming Fortune 500 companies. Thank you, pandemic. So long, denizens. <laughs>